Hi everyone, it's Ma from Sparkly Belly. In my last video, I showed you how to make this cute and comfortable wrap top with a hood. Since it's perfect as a dance lesson outfit, I made a matching ruched mini skirt that you can wear over your practice pants or leggings. This one is super easy to make and in this video, you'll see how. Let's get started! To make this DIY ruched mini skirt, you need half a yard or 50 centimeters of stretch fabric. I'm using the same jersey knit that I used to make the wrap top and matching color thread. First, measure your belt line, or this is where you want the top of the mini skirt to sit, which is usually below your natural waist. And also measure the largest part of your hips. Take both numbers and divide each one by four. Once you make a note of that, fold your fabric right sides together and make sure the direction of stretch is along the width of the fabric. And fold it again. I'm folding it like this to cut two panels in one go, but if your fabric is hard to fold twice neatly, then just do one panel at a time. At the top of the fold, pick a point and measure a quarter of your belt line measurement minus two centimeters or three quarters of an inch and make a mark there. Back on the fold, go down five centimeters or two inches and measure the same length again. Back on the fold, go down 7.5 cm or 3 inches and measure a quarter of your hip line measurement minus 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch. Back on the fold, go down 20 cm or 8 inches and measure a quarter of your hip measurement minus 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch again. Connect these points and smooth out the curve here, then cut along the line. And from the leftover fabric, cut out two strips that are one meter long and two centimeters or three quarters of an inch wide. Stretch and run those strips through your hand like this to make straps. If you're using fabric that's not jersey knit, like spandex, your fabric may not behave like this. Then simply make regular spaghetti straps. Take the panels and for each one, Fold the top and bottom edges 2.5 cm or 1 inch towards the wrong side and do a zigzag stitch to keep the fold in place. Try to catch the raw edge as you stitch so it looks neat on the inside. Then place them right sides together and at the sides do a straight stitch with a 2 cm or 3 quarters of an inch seam allowance. Stretch gently as you sew. At both seams, Press the seams open and sew down the seam allowance about 2 mm or 1 8 of an inch from the edge. Use a straight stitch and stretch gently as you sew. Do this for both sides. Turn the skirt inside out and take the straps you made, put a safety pin on one end and thread it through one of the casings from the bottom of the skirt. Once it's out at the top, send it back into the next casing. As soon as it's back at the bottom, I like to tie the ends like this so they don't slip out. But you can add bees or feathers or whatever you like at the ends if you like. And scrunch to the length you like and make a bow tie. Do this for both sides. And your ruched mini skirt is complete! Adjust the length and tie the straps into cute bow ties and enjoy your new outfit! Just like the wrap top, if you make it with stretch lace or shiny spandex, this will look great as a dance costume too! I hope you liked this ruched mini skirts tutorial and if you did, please share this with your dancer friend who needs an easy hip cover! And next week, I'm launching a brand new course on these beautiful pantaloons with side openings. These are super comfortable and the side drape is so pretty. It's a must-have for all belly dancers and festival goers who love the tribal fusion look. Make sure to sign up for my newsletter at sparklybelly.com so you won't miss the course launch and special discount. 
And if you want to get more dance costume DIYs, that's another reason to subscribe to my channel and or sign up for my newsletter at sparklybelly.com. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!